Hi everyone, happy to have you here with me once again. Welcome back. Today, as you can see in the title, we're having the April update for my Pandos Eyeshadows project. If this is the first video of this type that you're seeing, which I doubt, uh, this project was created by Alexi, and as always, I'm going to be leaving her channel down in the description box. And the whole idea of this project is to rotate through your collection, trying to hit pattern products, or in my case, in my case hit the 25 uses sadly i haven't hit pan on any eyeshadows this month but we're going to have a rollout anyway because there is a shade that i just don't want to use i tried to use it once and didn't work out for me <clears throat> so it hurts me a little bit but after a lot of thinking i think i'm going to just roll it out so far i haven't created any rules for beetles or anything but i'm going to create a rule right now i'll have four beetles through the year and i'm going to use the first one today in this project i'm working in six eyeshadows at a time Four of them are randomized from my whole collection, one of them from my focus palette, and the last one comes from my older 10 eyeshadow palettes. So I don't want to make intro this introduction any longer, so let's start with the shades that I have used the least to move up to the shades that I have used the most. But first, I'll leave a picture of the color story that I've been working on uh, for the last month. <clears throat> so now we can start. Okay, let's start with the shade that, as I said, didn't work out for me, so I decided to just roll it out, and that is my Sweet Pot shade from my AHA Honey palette. This is a pretty bright yellow matte, and I know you cannot see it on the video, but hopefully you will be able to see it on the close-up, but it's almost brand new, but you can see a little bit of wear on it. This shade I have only used once, and the time that I used it, I realized that this shade is really dry, really hard pressed, not very pigmented, and I needed to layer this shade so much to be able to get the color that I wanted on my eyelids. As I said before, it hurts me a little bit to roll out this shade because in another project I'm working in a golden yellow eyeshadow and I thought that if I had this shade it was going to be easier for me to reach for the other one. But as I said, after that one use, I haven't reached for that shade again. Also, I don't know, it's not really the season for me to use that kind of shades because now I'm in autumn here and if the shade doesn't work, the color doesn't work in this season for me, I feel like I just don't want to have it. I only reached for it once and it was a shade that I was kind of excited when I rolled it in, but it's not working for me and I don't want to have any headaches for this project, so I'm just going to roll it out. Okay, let's move on with another shade that I have only used twice. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I double my uses, and I have had this shade since the introduction in January. So yeah, the shade that I'm talking about is my shade B7 uh, for my Alicia palette. If you remember, this shade was in a huge palette, a rainbow palette, but I realized I wasn't really feeling inspired to reach for that palette because it was huge and it was way too colorful for me. So I decided to create this little color story and now I feel way more inspired to reach for this shade. Yeah, I only use it twice, but that's kind of good for me and I'm hoping that in the next month I'm going to be able to use it at least five extra times or something so we can have we can start to have progress on it so yeah four uses in total i'm getting a little bit tired of that shade of looking at that shade every month but since i'm not reaching for it and it's a shade that i think we could be able to hit pan on i'm going to still i'm going to keep working on it I cannot speak right now, not in English at least. Okay, let's move on to the next shade, and that is my Leo palette. No, it's not Leo. It's my Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics, and it's the shade Leo. It's this pink shimmer over here, and I'm pretty sure you're able to see that it has some wear on it, and I'm really, really happy about that. This shade I have used three times in the last month for a total of eight uses. 
and it's kind of a hard shade for me to use not for the color because it's pretty wearable but i feel like it's not a super pretty shade i feel like it's really flat it's really metallic but i would like something that has a little bit more dimension on it i have used it a couple of times you will be seeing maybe one picture sadly i didn't take too many pictures in the last month because i was really busy with work looking for an apartment and all that kind of stuff uh, but yeah, so far I have used it eight times. This is a shade that I know for sure I'm not going to be able to hit pan on. It's a dome shade, a big shade. So no, it's not going to happen. But I'm excited to see how much progress we're going to be able to get after 25 uses. Maybe we're going to be close to the pan. Maybe, just maybe. But I'm happy because every time that I look at this shade, I can see that it's way more flat that the other shades in this palette so we have progress maybe not a lot but progress is progress it's kind of funny because now we're talking about the fourth shade and this one i have used four times and that is my act natural shade from my just my look palette again i made this little like build your own palette to be able to reach for this shade and not have a palette that is full of greens today as you can see i'm wearing a green look and I don't know why, every time that I use a green eye look or I use greens on my look that is not maybe an eyeliner or something, or something like that, I feel like I'm wearing so much makeup. I'm really not into the look that I create today, but I was trying to use more out of this shade. I think you can see it on camera that we have a little bit of a dip on it. I'm really excited. As I said so far, far i have used it 12 times and that's pretty good because greens are a color that i'm really scared of like the shades that i like the least to use on my eyes are blues and greens so when i rolled in this shade i was so freaking scared but i found that if i use it as an eyeliner it looks quite nice quite pretty but every time that i try to do something different for example today i'm using it I'm using it at my outer corner. I just don't like the look. So I guess all the 25 uses are going to be as an eyeliner because otherwise it just doesn't work for me. Okay, we have two more shades to talk about. Let's start talking about the fifth shade that I have used five times. This shade I rolled in last month and so far I have used it five times. <clears throat> Which for me, it's pretty good to be honest because as you have seen through this video my uses are pretty low and i'm not proud about that but i will try to do better before next month but i rolled in this shade over here and it was almost brand new when i rolled it in and now i don't know if you can see it on camera but i can see the wear on it i said last month that i wasn't sure if i wanted to hit pan on it or use it 25 times because this was one of my newer palettes on my collection and i have a rule that if i roll in a shade that it's pretty new on my collection i have the option to only use it 10 times and then roll it out but i decided that this shade in particular i want to try to hit pan on it's going to take me a while especially because i only like how it looks when i apply it with my fingers and not with a brush and with brushes it's way faster to make progress uh, but yeah i want to take the challenge i accept the challenge and try to hit pan on it it's a really pretty shade and it also comes from a really pretty palette and i would like to see a pan in one of my newer palettes okay and the last shade that i've been working on comes from my um focus palette the sweetest palette and this is the sixth shade that i'm talking about and i only use it six times this is my focus palette and i'm moving so slowly with it i thought that we were going to be able to hit pan on it pretty easily and i cheat a little bit because you can see a little bit of a dot in there and that's because i was getting desperate without knowing how deep the pants were and i decided to take something pointy and make a little bit of a dot to see how deep the pants are and let me tell you 
these are super deep it's going to take me forever to hit pan on that shade and i'm worried about that because this is my focus palette i would like to have pan on all of the shades before the end of the year and we're already in april and i don't have any pans on it but uh, as you i don't know if you can see it but i'm using this shade to set my lid now and then and in there i have a pretty nice dip so maybe we're going to have an extra pan like a bonus pan uh not not so far long not far long from now hope you understand what i'm trying to say but yeah this is the last shade that i've been working on and no pants and pretty poor uses in my opinions but as i said in the introduction i took the decision to roll out my sweet spot shade i'm a little bit sad but if i'm realistic with i with myself first i want to be able to hit pan on the shades and this is so hard pressed that there is no way i'm going to be able to hit a pan on it in 25 uses also the color is not the color that i'm looking forward to use and the worst thing for me i could like look over all those stuff but the fact that the formula is so bad just i can't i just can't so with that that means that we're going to be rolling in a new shade but let's talk about numbers for a little bit <sighs> because since the last update i think i have added like 12 eyeshadow palettes in my collection okay right now i have 883 eyeshadows in my collection i know that's a really really high number we're almost to the 900 and i don't know why i feel tempted to get to a thousand why i don't know i like high numbers but yeah that will mean that i have 1000 eyeshadows in my collection but that's out of the point out of those 883 eyeshadows in my collection only 15 has pan on them and that means that my pan percentage is 1.7 percent so it's really really low and I need to get that number even higher. And my goal was to be able to hit 22 pans in 2022. But so far, I have hit pan on one. I'm doing so freaking terribly bad in this project this year. So thank you for staying with me, honestly. But okay, now we can randomize a new number. Uh, the shade sweet spot is going to stay on my spreadsheet so I can roll it in again at some point but let's see eligible eyeshadows i have 868 so let's open my pretty random app and uh, put the minimum to one and the max to 868 okay so here i have my pretty random app and now we can randomize a number Oh my god, that it's really, 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 really new in my collection. Maybe it's one of the newer palettes that I received through the month of March. Oh my god. Okay, 777. That is, let me see. Yeah. Oh, it's uncut from my Play Jewel palette. And as I said, it's one of my newer palettes and it's a huge palette but thankfully it's from Colourpop so it's a magnetic palette at least okay I'm going to uh, go look for that palette and then we'll check the new shade together and I'm a little bit scared I'm I'm excited about trying a new palette but it's a Colourpop palette and those are pretty hard to hit pan on but well what can you expect when most of my collection is Colourpop, right? Okay, here it's a palette. As you can see, it's a huge palette. And according to this, the shade should be like over here, I think. So let's see, uncut. Let me take out the plastic. I want to see with you. Okay. It's a pretty nice shade. It's this shade over here. The camera is washing off the color a little bit, but it's kind of a peachy, <laughs> a peachy shade. Let me swatch it over here. And it's a matte. I'm so freaking excited that we have something like a transition color. 
because I don't know some people prefer to have more shimmers I prefer to have so much because the thing that I enjoy the most is playing around with my shimmers and if all my eyeshadows in my pandos eyeshadows are shimmers I feel like I don't have as much room to play around so yeah this is the new shade I'll leave a picture of the new color story over here and officially I have used my first video in this project and I don't know how to feel about it but yeah that's everything for today thank you so much for watching uh, let me know if you have any suggestions of how to use this color story over here and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye